So, if you can hear, I am sick. I have an ear infection and viral pink eye. Fun, right? So, I was going to make some iced coffee. But instead, I think I'm going to make my little water mix. Which is two scoops of the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. One of the Her Greens mix, which is a full um, daily dose of vegetables. And... I have another packet. I'm going to put in a packet of 1,000 milligrams vitamin C. So, let me see if I can put you in my cabinet. This, this lighting situation in my kitchen is just not what I want. So, and then see I open this and now it's blocking half the light. Anyway, I'm going to do two scoops of collagen you know I you always wondered is this stuff does it work is it just kind of bull crap well I can't really tell a hundred percent because as I started taking that I have noticed I've been losing less hair in the shower but I also switched my shampoo so I don't know if it's the collagen or if it was the shampoo so gonna mix vitamin C this is super orange fizzy drink mix caffeine free <sighs> And then this is the Her Greens. And this is the Blueberry Acai. It's not my favorite flavor, but honestly right now my taste buds are kind of messed up anyways. Um, um, and then I do take this little thing and mix it because otherwise it's clumpy and weird and I have like a textural issue. So I always want to make sure that this is really well mixed. And just let her go. And I do usually put it in with some room temperature water. It seems to mix better than if you stick it in cold water. I just kind of let that go for a little while. I really want to make sure that it's mixed up well. Okay. I'm going to rinse this off. Alright. I don't know where my straw is. Josh, put my straw somewhere. Okay. Let's clean up our mess here. Now we load her up with ice. lot of ice all right and then the rest i'll put water and what i do is it does take me a while to drink it so throughout the day i just keep adding water until it's all gone let's see and then we just get our straw and i mean it doesn't taste bad i definitely prefer the mango her greens when mixed with this vitamin c packet it just tastes better but like i said right now i just threw in the blueberry acai because my taste buds are all messed up anyways so we'll drink this the rest of the day It's also a lot better when it gets cold. So, I normally start drinking it from the top where the ice is. And then, like I said, I'll add water throughout the day until I drink it all. So, alright. I'm going to get these kids to bed. Maybe film a video. I kind of want to take a nap. But I think I'll go film. We have week two delivery of Freshly. So, I'm about to unpack this. I can't remember what I ordered. I have been taking video... Uh, as we've eaten these, well, me, not so much Josh, but me, so that I can go back at the end and give you my thoughts on how they tasted, the look, all that. But what I have noticed is they actually do have expiration dates, and they're not all the same. So this time when I get them out, and I label them J and M for me and him, I'm also going to label one, two, three, four, five, so he knows which ones to eat first, so that the ones with the longest expiration date last longer, and the ones with shorter are eaten faster. So let's open this. This box is dadgum heavy, and they left it at the end of my parking spot. Uh, what do you call that? Carport. Oh, and it came a day early, but they did message me to let me know. So, I'd rather deal with food early than deal with food late. Oops, I tore into these savings. Oh, here's another KiwiCo. Still thinking about that. And wine. Apparently moms need something. You can tell this is designed for moms. They want to give you wine. And they want to do something to occupy your kids. Okay. So again with the recyclable jean. And another Gigantor ice pack. Alright. This week. 
zingy buffalo chicken golden oven fried chicken mash now this is one that josh ate last time he said it was good but and i agree oh the portion was kind of small like i get it but i think they could have like if not doubled at least did like a portion and a half like that was that one was kind of small tasted good but small um pork carnitas that is for him this one is for me, chicken and lime with zoodles and garlic, broccoli. Again, another ice pack. All right, we have honey, hoisin chicken with bok choy, broccoli, and basmati, bas, basmati rice. That one is for me. We have grilled zatar chicken with corn, rice, orzo, and green tahini sauce. That one is for me. Beef and veggie stuffed peppers. With oven roasted broccoli and fennel. I think that one's for Josh. It may be for me. I don't remember. Uh, bunless bison burger with spring succotash and loaded cauliflower. That's for Josh. I will be sending bread though. Um, another one of these. Josh did eat this last time. He loved it so I ordered it again. The steak peppercorn. And I believe whatever was on this. The sauce is what was in my sauce with the meatballs, and it was really good. So I reordered that for him. And then lastly for me, I got a homestyle chicken with mashed stirful mac and cheese. Does it come with green beans? Did we do this last time? Yeah, and it does come with green beans. So, there's my five, and there's his five, and again, another ice pack. I wish I knew what to do with these. This one, the other one from last week, I ended up throwing away because the box smelled bad. This one doesn't smell bad, so I actually am gonna keep it um, to put stuff in. All right, so let's take a look at these. Okay, let's see. 11, nine. 11, 10. 11, nine. 11, nine. 11, 9. Okay, so he doesn't really have a lot of choice, but here's the problem. 11, 9 is Tuesday. I need these to last till Friday, till 12. J1, J2. Yes, baby. J3, J4, and J5. What's wrong, Liz? All right, let's take a look at mine. It's it's almost nap time. My kids are having a really hard time with life. Let's see. 11, 8. 6. Holy cow. That's in two days. Like, did you just give me what was left over here, bud? 11, 10. What was this one? 8. 11, 12. 14. Okay. So, we have J, or not J, M1, M2, M3, M4, and M5. He also still has two meals left over, so he actually has seven meals unless he eats one today. But I'm making dinner. So he really shouldn't. So I'm going to put these in the fridge. Um, yeah. But like I said, as we eat these, or me, I try to take a video so I can go back. So at the end of this, I'll hopefully have quite a few meals to share with you what they looked like, what they tasted like, and all that. Okay, so we are taking a trip to Walmart for the hubs. He has quite a few things he needs. I know my face is so red. It was so cold in there. Um, got the inside cleaned. 
I want to get a blanket to put under his mattress because there are some holes that lead to like the little cubby underneath and it's cold. So, yeah, that didn't work. Oh, well. So we're going to go to Walmart. I'm going to order him some lunch and then I'm going to take everything back. I want to get, he needs a light, he needs a fuse. I'm also saying this so it's like a verbal shopping list. Um, we're going to put his fridge in when I get back. There, it's kind of better. It's not really better, sorry. Uh, we're going to put his fridge in. I want to get some stuff for him to put in there. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah. Something smell good because it stinks in there. The truck sat for a long time. Nobody was driving it. And it's stinky. So, I'm going to try to find him a good man smell popper thing and put it up in the top of his truck like the little top part and like am I going overboard trying to clean this semi that's going to get dirty because he's working probably but like it, I feel like it's the only thing I can really contribute is to try to make it feel as nice as possible because he's going to be in it all the time he's working hard to provide for us so I feel like well if I can contribute in this small way then I guess that's something right Which I mean too. I'm not dumb. I realize I'm taking care of all the back end stuff like home, the kids, the bills, the house. As far as like managing all of it. But I just, he's stressed and I just want to make it as nice as possible, cozy as possible. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. I actually might get him a body pillow. <laughs> I should get a body pillow and tape my face to it. <laughs> if I can print pictures fast enough, we might do that. I might print my face out and glue it to a body pillow or like tape it to a body pillow. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just gotta find the small things and laugh about it. You just, you just gotta, you just gotta. We're going to do a trucker's wife shopping haul. I don't know. Try to make it fun. Try to make it fun. Make it me. <laughs> uh, we definitely got to go find something that smells good because it's stinking in there and I don't like it. Like, my hands were so red and cold. I even had gloves on, but, like, I wiped down everything with disinfectant wipes and lavender pine salt. doing the best I can. I'll tell you what though, if this ear don't unpop soon, I'm gonna go crazy. this freshly video um well not freshly video but this kind of what would you call it review of freshly so i have here nine meals that i videoed that i wanted to talk to you about kind of give you my review and tell you what i thought of the individual meals and the service as a whole so the first meal that i had was this thanksgiving meal that my dad really liked um it was okay i i wasn't as impressed with it as i had thought i would be um I think I had in my mind like the Thanksgiving meal from Bob Evans and it didn't taste like this. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't, I don't know, like my brain didn't have that taste in my head. Does that make sense? And I didn't care for the hard bacon bits in the green beans. But other than that, it really was not a bad meal and I would, I would order it again. Um, the next meal that I had was the Autumn Bounty Pork and Turkey Lasagna. 
Um, I honestly wasn't a very big fan of this one. I didn't like the texture of the pork in the lasagna. Um, other than that, it tasted okay, but like it was really crumbly. Um, so just taste wise, it was fine, but like texture wise, I didn't really care for it. So that is not one that I would order again. <laughs> So the third meal was the meatballs. I think it was just like called beef meatballs or something with broccoli and mashed potatoes. I really liked this meal and I really enjoyed the sauce that was on the meatballs. It was really good. Um, this is definitely one. I actually did reorder this since filming this. I have reordered this multiple times and I really enjoy this meal. So that one is definitely, definitely one of my favorites. Okay, the next one is... The sesame ginger chicken and noodles. This one was fine. Um, I think I did add some soy sauce to it on my own just to give it a little bit more flavor. But honestly, it wasn't bad. Like, it's it's definitely one that I would reorder. Okay, and then I had the, I don't remember what this one's called either, but it was like the chicken with macaroni and green beans. Honestly, um, for this meal, I just really wasn't a fan of the macaroni. Again, it wasn't bad, but I almost think, like, I probably should have taken should have took taken taken the chicken out and continued cooking the noodles just a smidge longer again green beans tasted fine i did add some everything bagel seasoning i usually always just add a little bit like soy sauce or vegetable seasoning or everything bagel seasoning um but the chicken was really good um and like i said i think the macaroni maybe if i had just cooked it a little bit longer it would have been fine okay another meal i had was the honey hoisin chicken with bok choy broccoli and basmati rice this one was fine i think again i just added some soy sauce to the rice and other than that I pretty much ate it as it was it was really good um, great taste chicken cooked well no problems with this meal at all okay one of the meals that I definitely did not enjoy was the stuffed pepper meal I can't remember the exact name of it but like I just could it, it, it almost had the same issue as the pork lasagna one that the meat and the peppers was just too gritty for me um i i didn't finish this meal i actually ended up throwing it away um the veggies tasted good i did add those some everything bagel seasoning but um this was just one of those meals that i definitely would not order again i didn't like it i didn't care for the texture of the meat and then the last meal that i had was the grilled z i don't even know how to say it Gr grilled Zatar chicken with corn, rice, orzo, and green tahini sauce. This one was fine. Um, I did end up adding some fresh avocado just for some healthy fats, and it tasted great. So, honestly, out of those, what is that, nine meals, I think, there was only two that, like, were a definite I'm not going to purchase again. Um, some of the ones I had that I didn't get a video of was the steak peppercorn one. Delicious. I'm pretty sure that sauce is the same sauce that's on the meatballs. Um, another one was the buffalo chicken with loaded cauliflower. That one was delicious. Definitely will be ordering again. So, my overall thoughts on Freshly... It's kind of expensive, but I mean, if you like break down the pro, could I get cheaper meals in the frozen section at the grocery store? Yeah, but I like the convenience of it being delivered. I like that I can just get on there every week and, um, you know, change out what I want to order and select it. And they, every week they kind of add a couple different options. Um, I like that I can get them and then I know that Josh has food for the week while he's trucking. Um, regardless of wherever he's at, I know that he's at least got these few meals to tide him over so that he doesn't like go without eating. So for us, I would have to say that this, this meal service is working. It's worth it. So for us, this is definitely something that we will continue. Um, I actually did just place, okay, I actually did just place another order through them today to get for next week. So for us, it's working well. Um, my house is crazy and I'm trying to film this. But yeah, so far, only two meals I really haven't enjoyed. The rest have been fine. We will continue to use this until I figure out something else, I guess. Um, if you're at all interested in trying Freshly, I do have a code. I don't know if it gets me anything or not. I think maybe like $10 off. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I will look into that deeper and I will put, you know, exactly disclose whatever information, like if you use it, if I get a kickback or anything, I'm not like affiliated with them. I think anybody who purchases through them gets this code to use to, for anybody that wants to try it. Those are my thoughts on the Freshly subscription. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you later. Bye-bye.